Hello everyone, welcome. In this series of videos, we are working on AZ-104 Microsoft Azure Administrator Labs that are available on GitHub. I'll give you the link to the lab. I'm doing this video as I prepare for my own 104 examination. Uh, in the previous video, we have done, completed the first task, which is creating resource groups and deploy resources to resource groups. And in this lab, we are uh, we are going to complete the second task which is move resources between resource groups so let's get to it what is task two all right so we're just going to follow the steps that are given in here uh, search and select for resource groups so let's go to our azure environment okay so resource group you can search i already have it available so i'm just going to click here all right, we are in the resource group. So let's see what else do we need to do. On the resource group lid, click any entry, uh, click the entry. So this is the resource group that we have created in our last uh, lab. So let's go there and uh, you can also search for a resource group. So this is the one that we created. So click on it. So this is the uh, detailed uh, details about this particular resource group. We only have one resource, one disk that we have deployed in the previous lab. Um, so from the overview plate on the resource group in the list of resource groups, select the entry representing the newly created disk and click on move in the toolbar and move to the another resource group. So this is how you will have to move a resource. So we can click, let's see, so you can click the resource group and I just want to see if I can move this resource from this blade from the individual resource and you see that there is no option here to move this particular resource if you go to the uh, resource level so to move something you still have to go back to the resource group level okay uh, go to the resource group okay and you can select this and move so once you click on this move there are two options available move to another resource group or move to another subscription so in this lab we're going to do that move to another resource group so we can click on it and let's go back uh, create on the move resources bullet create a new group so here move to this new group and here you can either select the existing group or create a new one so in the lab they are saying us to create a new group so here we're going to create a new group and we're going to call it az10403a-rg2 so that's the new uh, understand the tool and script so if you click on this box i understand tools and scripts associated with the move resources will not work until i update them to the new resource ids um, so once that's done you just click on OK and again you can look at this notification bar to see what's going on so right now it's doing a validation whether this move is is acceptable and uh, once the move is done uh, you'll be able to see this resource in the new resource group uh, just give it a couple couple a minute or so maybe and uh, it should move your resources to the new resource group now one thing to note when you're moving the resource the resource gets locked so not so those both resource group that you're moving to and moving from they gets locked so you cannot uh, deploy anything you can't really do much but uh, the operations are primary like if you have a sql server or something running on that if you're moving readers uh, users who are, who are using that database can still access the database but you cannot do anything new and there there are some resources that uh, are dependent and and cannot be moved so and you will run across that time to time so that's just keep that in mind okay it's taking a little bit longer so I'm just gonna pause the video and come back when it's done and we'll show you how this new disk is now uh, part of the new resource group 
while move is still going on and in the notification bar it's now I have this detailed information moving resources it's a running process and it says moving the disk from resource group this in subscription this to resource group in the new resource group in subscription in the same subscription okay I'll be back when the when the move is done hello everyone so now the resource move is complete so if you look at the notification bar over here it's a successfully moved the resource from the from the same subscription to the new resource group okay so uh, let's go back to our resource groups let's go home let's go to resource group so so this this was the initial resource group rg1 okay and this is the resource group we created on the fly when we were moving so let's go and check if there's anything so that I don't see the disk the disk has gone so if I now go to this resource and the disk is right here that was previously part of this resource group is now over here so that's all uh, was covered in that particular section of the lab um, what we'll do uh, in the next video we'll implement the resource lock and uh, we'll explain the benefit of this feature in Azure uh, that helps you uh, accidental deletion so help you stop accidental deletion of resources thank you for watching the video if you like it please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and share with your friends good luck with the exam